What do we be saying here, boys? And welcome back to Pro Stack Manager 2020 for stage number 19 of the All Star Tour, a stage that will take us from Modan to the Alpe d'Huez. Uh, it's the first stage of the unreleased start uh, or start list or stage list, sorry, or parkour if you want. I can't remember the next one as well, so that's gonna make for a great suspense, but. If you've missed the previous stages, then go watch them because we're now second in this race, just nine seconds behind a certain Egan Bernal. I have no idea what's gonna happen in the upcoming stages. The momentum has shifted for us. Hopefully, you can stay that way, uh, but genuinely, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But today's stage, Modern Lapidus, is a very famous stage in 2011 where Thomas Vauclair uh, lost the yellow, where mainly, mainly, uh, Pierre Roland won at the summit of the Alpe d'Huez, beating Contado and Sam Sanchez. Uh, but yeah, very famous stage with like Andy Schleck and Contado attacking just after the intermediate sprint of Saint-Michel de Maurienne. Vauclair trying to follow them, but exploding and then getting dropped, shouting at Pierre Roland for not being here when Pierre Roland was having the day of his life. Uh, just getting water just to destroy the bottle on the fucking ground. He did come back though in the downhill of the Galibier, but uh, effectively it just wasn't enough for Thomas, who lost not only the yellow jersey that day, but the Tour de France and also the podium as he'll, uh, he'll officially lose third place on uh, the time trial following that. Hopefully, there could be another switch of yellow jersey today. And uh, why not? Why not have a Slovenian? On top. Plus three for Tade. Plus three for Tade Pogotar today. If he doesn't take the yellow, I'd be extremely surprised. Oh, the attacks now. <laughs> uh, well, I loved it when the attacks used to be like Ofredo, Kalmejan, Zandro Meresa. Then a marker, Shay, Nero Quintana, Valverde, Barde, Yates, Conrad, and Mollimer. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant, I'm scared. I'm gonna try a Schleck. Or a contador. We're gonna attack now. I'm gonna attack in the telegraph. No one is expecting me to attack now. Like, genuinely, nobody is expecting me to attack right now. And I don't know, it could be fun. Because, I mean, I'm, I, I know I could win on the Alpe d'Huez just on sheer pace. So we might as well just try something now, can't, sh shouldn't we? Uh, no one though, I mean, I'm not creating a gap at all. That's rather surprising. I expected to like get a, a decent lead though. Okay. Well, I guess Ineos might just pace me back now. Yeah, okay, they came back. I don't want to try again because I'm just going to lose too much yellow now. Uh, but yeah, they, they came back. They, they weren't exactly happy with, with my attack. I can't exactly tell you why. Right, I just paced a bit in the climb to make sure that, uh, I mean, the breakaway wouldn't go and take the win. We still have Dan Martin in the lead. Uh, oh, I even took like 15 points at the Gabi. Nice, we're now 34, 35 points clear of um, Primo Droglet. Who's that drop? That's Tom Dumoulin. Uh, it would have been perfect if Tom had stayed dropped, but I'm guessing the peloton will like start to do nothing and he'll come back. And we have started the Alpe d'Huez. We have started the Alpe d'Huez. 28 riders. And we're going to attack already from the get-go. We're going to attack from the get-go. Uh, I want to see what's happening. I want to see what's happening. See if anyone, like, would follow. I mean, I, I, yeah, I was expecting Chris Froome to, like, just pace me. That is indeed something that I expected to happen. Simon, do you want to... Oh, Adam, no, you don't want to pace because you don't even have the legs to fucking follow me, don't you? Thank you, Adam. Very kind. We're going to try and stay in the break and, and see what happens from that point onwards. Also, Dumoulin didn't come back. And Fulstang is already dropped. Nice. Seven kilometers on the summit. We got co-op. Uh... I'm, I'm having Bernal in my wheel, which is quite funny, because, I mean, I keep on, like, getting myself dropped on purpose, so that, like, his team actually starts pacing him down, or pacing him back in the main group. But look, if I'm going to do that, all right, look, and Ineo stops, and Bernal starts pacing, and that's using Garen Thomas. And if anything, he's going to give Roglic an advantage, advantage I don't care about. Come on, lad. Now pace. Now use your riders, lad. Use them. I don't care if Roglic is in the lead. I honestly couldn't give less of a shit. Because he's two minutes behind me. He's not a threat. However, I am a threat to you. <laughs> 
and it's now Carapaz pacing, and now Bernal, and Bernal should now think about attacking, I think. I'm being a cocky bastard, and that's going to, like, bite me in the arse, isn't it? I, I just knew it is. I just knew it is. Alright, Tadei coming back on Thibaut Pino. And on Bernal. Roglic is holding on quite well. Uh, I'm just waiting to, to see that, that, like, doddling head. Is that a word to doddle? I think it is. I don't know. I'm just waiting to, to see him just starting to struggle like Primoz Roglic is right now. And to just say, hello, oi oi, what are we saying? I'll just overtake you. Two kilometers left. I'm going to give them some sort of a, of help. I'm not going to pace too much. I, I, I want to be kind. Come on, Egan, what are you doing? I have energy, but do you? 900 meters left. We're going to get one more left hander. We're going to stick to the inside. Oh, we don't have a left hander. Okay. We're going to sprint then. Roglic dies. Bernal has some sort of energy, but we're going to take the win. Adi Alpe d'Huez. If there's a gap, if there's a gap, we take the yellow jersey. If there's not, we, we maintain Egan in the lead for one second. I feel like I want this to be a very tight battle until the final stage. Because I know I could have easily taken that win if I wanted. No gaps. We maintain Bernal in the lead for three seconds, don't we? <laughs> Five. Nice. Nice. Uh, I, need, I need to understand maths, right? Mathematics on my strong suit by the looks of it. Uh, 23 seconds on Roglic and then the rest of the peloton. Again, like, you can see the gaps aren't massive because we haven't exactly paced a lot, if we're going to be honest. I, I try to, like, race like a cocky prick. Attacking here, 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 and here. Uh, but yeah. We take the win nonetheless. Uh, we're strengthening early in the points and mountain classification. At least that's something uh, worth mentioning. I don't know who finished last today. Uh, do I care? Yeah, it was Dan Mackley. What a surprise. I still can't believe that there's only been three fucking withdrawals and two of them are me. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Alright. This nevertheless is where we're going to let... Um, wait, no. This, nevertheless, is where I'm going to wrap up this 19th episode of the All-Star Tour. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. If you didn't, please do leave a like down below. It would really, really, really mean a lot to me. We've got two more stages. I know the final one. I don't know this, the, the next one. I just know it's going to be a madness. Five seconds between Ben Allen and myself. Can we get this fucking yellow jersey? I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But you'll have to, to subscribe to figure it out. Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. Follow me on my respective social medias. The links are in the description down below. My name has been Blackwood. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the cold, I'm bleeding. But I'm all the money feeding. I don't want to go bombay. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop my out with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster. buster.